Hello, I'm Jess Arce, CEO of 3D Learning Experts and America's Dyslexia Expert. And today I want to bust myth, myth number eight. Dyslexic people are lazy. Well, dyslexic people are not lazy unless they happen to be a lazy person. But that's not because of their dyslexia, it's because of their personality. Um, people often confuse the fact that they think that dyslexic people are lazy because they often give up on themselves. They get so tired of being told they're not doing things right, can't they do it any better, you can do better, you know better, you're smart, you should know how to do that. And they know that they can't do things that are expected of them by their teachers or their parents or their bosses because they may not be good at reading instructions or maybe they're not good at reading at all. And so they really cannot do what is being asked of them in the way that it is being asked of them. And so they often just give up because wouldn't you give up if people are always telling you you're no good at something? Why try anymore? And that's what ends up happening to so many dyslexic people is they give up on themselves because they're tired of letting people down and being told that they're not living up to the expectations of other people. So I recently talked to a dad and he said, I just want my daughter to pass tests. That's all I want, you know. Is that asking too much? And I told him that might be asking too much of her. That may not be what she is capable of doing at this very moment based on her life experiences. That's not to say that she's going to grow up and be a failure. It just means that she needs more time or she needs more tools. And so that's something that really needs to be kept in mind is they're not trying to disappoint you. No one in the world wants to disappoint people. However, eventually when people's expectations are higher than what someone can provide, they just say, well, I'm going to disappoint them anyway, so why try? And um, that's something really important because I was just talking to um, someone yesterday and she was telling me about an author who I'll be interviewing uh, on my podcast and channel in the near future. And he, um, he became a criminal because that's all he knew how to do. And he didn't need to know how to read in order to sell drugs. So unfortunately, um, sometimes we will make ourselves fit into the boxes that people have put out for us. So it's really important as a parent of someone with a learning challenge to remember this and not um, make them feel bad if they can't do something, but spend the time talking to them and finding out why they are struggling to do something. Sounds like my dog's ready to leave the room. So my time is up. Until next time.